Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass here, and welcome to Red Bow, an adventure horror game for the creator of My Dear Sister and Just Ignore Them. And in this one, you play as a girl who has a red bow who starts having some very weird dreams. That dream. Was it a dream? So, I'm not quite sure. This might be a spiritual sequel, as in it's the same world as My Dear Sister. Main character certainly looks kind of like our previous character. I'm not tired anymore. There's nothing in here. There's nothing here. Damn. That empty table reminded me of my life. Just nothing there. I ain't working. Damn, I was getting pretty hungry. All the dishes are done. And my hands are pretty clean. Empty. Typical. That's just so typical of you, Fridge. It's a dusty old bookshelf. Hey, what is that? A key? I wonder what it's for. There's nothing else here. Hmm. Tori? Pendant. Door key. Wonder what's on. Nothing. But before we go out the front door, can we go out the back door? It's pretty dark outside. It's a good thing this door is locked. Or is it? Nah, it's probably locked. Realistically. I can use the key I found to unlock it. So, do I have to go manually into the inventory and use the key? Should I really leave? What if this isn't a dream? Am I even alive? Ponro, stem out of it. Be brave. I was expecting to see something. Instead, I saw nothing. Nothing but the darkness. But I stepped forward. Then everything became clear. Where am I? Where's my house? This must be a dream. And how do I wake up? Wouldn't you like to know? Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Oh, I'm not the only one here. Um, excuse me. Can you help me? Excuse me? Nice neck. Uh-uh. You must really stick your neck out for your friends. I like that in a person. I can help you. Um, no thanks. I'm fine. I don't think you are, little girl. I see that you're lost. Oh, I'm not lost. I just can't seem to find where my front door went. Do not be afraid, little girl. I bring you no harm. Unless you bring it to me. I don't plan on hurting you. You're way too creepy. What are you anyway? I am known as Kumi. I watch out over the void of the road. I wait for nothing, nor am I waiting for someone. I feed off the souls lost in the void. What are you going to do with my soul? 
As I said, little girl, I can help you. Okay, how would you help me? I can help you leave this place. If you can help me. You need my help. Yes. We are not alone. There is another. She lives off the road. She wishes to get rid of me. But why? Because I am not like her. I am seen as a monster in their eyes. She has a point, you know. Yes, she does. But so do you. What is your point on this view? I don't know. Then time for judgment can wait until you're sure. What are you searching for? A question no one has ever asked me before. Cryptic metaphor. It's a bunch of notices. They all say the same thing. Go away, beast. There's nothing interesting in here. Well, I did find Manly's soul. What the heck? Bones? Yep, that sounds like it. Front of a swell animal. Wait, I think this is... I could be wrong, but there was like a little weird... Diner and my sister. This might not be it, though. But I just remember there was like a weird world like that in the forest. It's locked. There's a note on the door. Leave me alone. I can see a shadow. Swinging back and forth. Uh-oh. Wait. What was that noise? That door just will unlock itself. Should I check it out? First. Now we go in. It's... Both exactly what I expected, but also not. Huh? Oh my gosh. She's dead. No, she's clearly blinking. What are you doing in my house? Get out! Now! You're still alive? But how? How did you get in my house? Answer me! The, the door unlocked itself? I'm sorry for intruding. Do you honestly think I would believe that? A door unlocking itself? I bet it was that damn creature that did it. Oh, you mean Gooby. I believe that thing has a name. What do you want anyway? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that thing. What about it? The vile monster. Why do you hate it so much? Because I look at... Because look at it. It's monstrous, disgusting. But it seems to be peaceful. It lies. It tells nothing but lies. Why? What is a lie? Ah. <sighs> Do you know where we are? No. We are in a place between life and death. A purgatory for people like me. People like you. A place where souls are lost and found. Found by that thing outside to eat them. Then why are you here? Huh? Why are you here? I asked first. Huh, fine. I'm here because of my daughter. Your daughter? My daughter's soul was lost and I was trying to find it. But now I'm stuck in here. I can help you down? There's no point. Now with that thing outside. I'll tell you what. If you can get rid of it, I'll come down. I'll find us a way out of this place. How can I trust you? Just look at me. I'm human, just like you. Are we sure? Please help me. Need time to think. I'll be back. By the way, my name's Akira. I'm Ro. Please help me, Ro. It's a sink. I can't turn the water on, though. 
It must be broken. Please help me, bro. Not fully sure what's going on yet. A little bit of a quirky situation, to say the least. Hey. Uh, excuse me? Mr. Kubi? I'd hate to force you to stick your neck out for me. But, we have a little problem. A problem of puns. You're back, little girl. I assume you spoke to Akira. I did. She doesn't seem to like you very much. I can be likable, and then I cannot. It all depends on one's perspective. I think there's more to you than meets the eye. You're not telling me everything. Are you? You are right, Ro. So you do know my name? Yes. I know the names of everyone. Everything. But only what needs to be known. What do you mean? I see it all. Drifting through the road. I see the lost souls screaming for an answer. Do you see Daisy's soul? I do not. Why? Because it is not her that is lost. But Akia. Her daughter was too young to understand death. Her soul moved on. Akira was foolish. So Akira... ...took her own life. Yes. It is a common mistake. Why was it a mistake? We do not choose the times we let go. Life will choose for us. If we break this rule, we end up here. On the road. It symbolizes an unfinished journey. She is searching for something that is not here. Is there a way for her to leave this place? Yes. How? I must tell her. She must accept what has happened. She must move on. That's impossible. She lost her child. Then her soul will be stuck here. Forever. There must be another way. There is. But I'm sure you will never find it. I must. Then ask me a question. A question that I have never been asked before. I will release her soul from the road. But just remember this. If she does not accept what has happened, did you really save her? Once you have made your choice, place an item on the breeze next to me. This will be your answer. Very deep. So it looks like this is going to be a game dealing with... Possibly afterlife? But who knows, it could go very bizarre adventure on us, going different places. Something shining at the bottom, huh? A picture. It's of a baby in a crib. It's got Chivo Rockabye Baby. Now, was that an important item? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is alright. I wonder if you can fail this. Because I'm not sure this has... It even says in the, the store description multiple endings. I wonder if it's going to be a thing we help people move on. One by one. Please help me, Ro. Please. How about this? Akira? I have something for you. I is that... My baby. Daisy. I'm so sorry. I just couldn't bear life without you. I need you. What happened, Akira? I it was all my fault. 
I took my eyes off her for just a moment. There was a lovely breeze that day. It blew my old red ribbon into her crib. Exactly like the one you're wearing now. Hmm. She wrapped it around her neck when she rolled over. I couldn't even hear her last cries. I'm so sorry, Akira. I'm the one that should be so sorry. I'm so sorry, Daisy. It was my fault I ended up here. I deserve to be here. It wasn't your fault, Akira. It wasn't Daisy's either. I can help you get out of here. But you can't bring her back. Can you? Leave me, Ro. Leave me here. Hmm. Is there anything else we can do here? What about- what's my other item here? I do have the pendant. No, it's useless. I don't think there was anything to the south of me. Maybe I just put the frame over here. You wish to save Akira, then it will be done. No, that death is not to be forgiven, but to be remembered. Oh! Was that a game over? So what I do? Dependent then? Very well. I would say it was a pleasure meeting you, Ro. But nothing here is pleasurable. Farewell, Ro. Self-sacrifice. Hmm. What a weird dream. The road. That creature. I'm just glad I'm finally awake. Nothing in here. Nothing here. So... Looks like there's actually three items we can give the, uh, Kubi. What's this? A ribbon? So I guess we'll see every outcome for these, uh, chapters and I'll try to find all the different outcomes. Maybe this is the correct one, then. I'm not sure if this one was a bug, but that one gave me a... It bumped me to the title screen, anyway. This one let us live. Maybe this is the good answer one? Where did you get this? I found it at the other end of the road. A red ribbon. I haven't seen this since... Since you killed yourself with it. Daisy? That is no longer my name. Why? I have a new purpose. This is my purpose now. I have a question for you. Then speak it. If you had a choice, what would you do? I was never given a choice. Beings are incapable of such things at a young age. I had no choice. You do now. Then my choice is this. Goodbye, Ro. And thank you. A second chance Chivo popped up. Hmm. I'm assuming that was a good answer, but I'm not sure what happened in the end. What a weird dream. The road. That creature. I'm just glad I'm finally awake. Hey! Is it boarded up? Do we still get a key over here? Empty. Ain't working. Oh, the back door's open. Where am I now? My shop.
It looks like somebody's home. But where's my home? Why? Why am I here? The dream never ends. These look so old. I've never even heard of these magazines. Am I pretty? What kind of magazine name is that? Inside. It's a power box. Strange. There's a cable running to the sewer over there. That means powering what's down there? Better not tamper with it. It's a manhole. It must lead to the sewer system. Hello? Is there anyone here? They must be upstairs. Ring, ring, ring. Huh? The phone? Hello? Hello? Breathing intensifies. Is there someone there? Am I pretty? Who is this? They hung up. Who was that? Oh well, I better keep searching this place. Wow, that was an actual who was the phone situation. So, okay. Am I pretty? Phone, am I pretty? I don't need anything here just yet. Yet. Let's see if I can use this to reach it. What is this? A lighter? It could be useful, I guess? I don't need to rest, I need to find a way home. It's locked. It's a bunch of photos. There's a pale woman of her boyfriend in all of them. Only... Someone's throwing a big smile over the boyfriend's face. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's an old dirty bed. Who lives here? It's an empty sink. At least the water runs here. There's a pot on the stove. Now she needs to be a cook in it. Boy, am I hungry. Well, hello there, Mr. Kitty. I can see you through the window. You probably can't hear me. Hey, that paw looks, looks like a key in his paw. How would I get him to drop it? Fish. Cook fish. There's nothing in here. Wow. Ah! It's not turning on. Maybe it's broken. Well, at least the light is on. So there is power. So. There is a thing in there. This once again comes back to who was the phone is someone who was in the upstairs. Got a lighter. Hmm. Fireworks? Oh, some cool, some fireworks. I'll take some of the firecrackers. The neighbor's kid used to scare his dog with these. The stupid kid. The dog didn't sleep for a week. Oh no, it's gonna be kind of mean. Whoever's in that room is gonna be pissed. They're gonna be like, Why'd you scare my cat? Oh, I had to get the key to get into the back room. This is my house! Why do you have to get in my back room specifically? I have some privacy. I can use it to start the stove, but I have nothing to cook. How do we trigger? This seems like a bad idea, but oh well. Now she seems to be gonna light the stove. Seems like the light is broken. Okay, here we go. This should wake up Mr. Kitty. I better stand back. It looks like Mr. Kitty ran away. Sorry, Mr. Kitty. Let's see if we drop the key.
Thank you, Mr. Kitty. Now I'm with this unlocks. Save my game. Because we're about to go into that back room with... That thing with red eyes. Well, here goes nothing. What the? Who are you? I am Miniqui. Do you think I'm pretty? I came and see you. Why are you hiding in the shadows? Because I live in them. Oh, Mr. Edgy over here. I live in the shadows. You've been adopted to the darkness. I was born in it. It is easier to hide than to be seen. Plus, I make the darkness my home. Then how can I tell if you're pretty? Then I will show myself. Yep, there's Glasgow's smile. This is what I look like. Am I pretty? What is that around your mouth? It is a red bow. To conceal my forever lasting smile. Smile? How could anyone be happy living in a place like this? It's so dark and damp. You didn't answer my question. Am I pretty? Well, I think you are... Ah! Huh? Who was that? Someone that helps me remember. Remember what? To remember the smile. Please forgive me, little one. Who was that screaming? No, we managed to dodge it. Because if you answer, sometimes... Some of the solutions to survive that, um... The thing, uh... What is it? The Kusuki Ona? I know it's one of the ways it's like you don't answer. Period. And others are like, you said you give them back like a confusing question. Kind of back. Because there's interpretations of it. And depending if you get the interpretation wrong, I'm feeling you're like you're doomed. So I don't know which one's the right one. It's a toilet. Disgusting. Wait, what's that? It looks like some sort of crowbar. Maybe, okay, there's a toilet in the cro a crowbar in the toilet. Okay, maybe I can use it somehow. Hello? Where did you go? Hello? You completely disappeared. What? This should be able to open it. Yes. I don't need this anymore. At least it didn't break. Hello? Um. Who is there? Wait, here or not? My name is Ro. And you are? Kokai. My name's Kokai. But she calls me. Smiles. Is she still here? Has she gone? How did you get here? Whoa, slow down with the questions, mister. Even I don't know how I got here. And I don't know where your lady friend went. So he's no friend of mine. Not anymore. Why? I mean, look what's going on here. What do you think, why? Because she did this to me. I didn't deserve this. Don't I? Look, mister, I don't even know you. Plus, we don't even know what you did. Maybe you deserve it. It's one of those twists. You release him, he's like, That man is the worst man in existence. He's done absolutely everything wrong. From choosing the wrong starting Pokemon, to cheating in Monopoly, to throwing Zodia off a ship. Am I pretty? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I said you are, my darling. You're the prettiest girl in the whole world. You have a lovely smile. What are you talking about? 
Ro, you have to help me. If you help me, I will help you escape this place. But only if you trust me. Really? How? This nightmare will play over and over. Until she's dead. What? I can't kill anyone. You have to. Please. What? No. There must be another way. That is what the last person to end up here said. Wait, I'm not the first? Who else has been having these dreams? Just promise me one thing. Just don't answer her question. What question? Please, Ro. End this nightmare for the both of us. Hey, look, broken TV. Sweet. What's the broken TV doing down here? She brought it down here. I was forced to watch her dance. She was quite the TV star. But I couldn't take any more. So I snapped the power cable and destroyed that box. There's a power extension cable leading to the surface? 